is up everybody welcome back to Mount MoGraph summit number 55 the five minute morph effect uh, and in today's video we're going to be going over a really cool and unique way to transition between elements with that morph effect so as you can see I got I have a cityscape in After Effects just changing and this was all done with a path layer and uh, this wasn't me clicking for hours to create all these buildings it was me using a very unused effect to get this to happen so anyway let's create a new composition I've got mine right here and we're gonna draw just the worst shape possible with our pen tool so I'm happy with that we'll twirl down here and grab our path layer and then just go into Illustrator so I just searched online for famous places and found this SVG or EPS and I opened it in Illustrator so I'm only using it for this example I don't recommend using it for your own work but how this effect work is you just grab paths um, of shapes from Illustrator and paste them into After Effects for this transition so I'll show you how this works uh, basically uh, you grab all your objects and ungroup them so they're all separate and then just grab parts of the objects you want. So if I really like this uh, city right here, I'll drag it over here so I can see, uh, all you have to do is just group it with the Pathfinder so it's one solid shape. Um, and be careful because some of the shapes are deceivingly uh, connected or not connected. So you can just go and uh, fill that in. And you can do this for your own artwork, which I would actually recommend. But I thought it was a cool example. So anyway, I've got this solid shape here. I'm going to do Command C and uh, just paste it into. Uh, after Effects here and there is our little building so at this point we would set a keyframe and literally just keep doing this to paste it in to get this effect which is really fun and then you can do stuff with color as well so why don't we do that um, I've already separated some of the buildings just in here just the really simple shapes so I'll grab this one and uh, we'll paste it into our path of our shape layer and what's nice is all these objects become one object and it's also all uh, path so there's not even an asset for your project which is really nice and keeps the project really light so I'm just grabbing objects pretty randomly here they're all just separated solid simple shapes um, and pasting them and we'll see that we can get a really cool animation uh, just by doing this so I'm gonna use my path tool and now if we scrub backwards you're gonna see that we're starting to get a pretty awesome uh, change with just minutes and at the very least this is a really great starting point I'll add some easing to uh, jumpstart your animation if this is something you're interested in doing. So as you can see, some of the stuff, uh, they'll be not always perfect, but you can easily go in, and since this is a path, you can just grab your path or parts of your path you weren't happy with and just move them so you are happy with them uh, somewhere in that tr transition phase. So if I'm like, wow, I really need these points down here so it's nice and smooth, you can easily fix that and uh, still get your cool effect. So you can also start animating stuff like color um, we'll just do a couple quick little keyframes here just change your color and let's say we love that so why don't we create just a new solid in the background and put this beneath it and we'll toggle down both of our layers and we'll add a quick little expression to our fill color of our background layer so just grab your fill and hold option and uh, pick whip the color that we just keyframed if my if it'll scroll up here very slowly be nice if it would come on guy uh, so anyway I will grab this fill that we've keyframed and just paste it so obviously this is gonna make it the same color um, now you can use an invert effect or a colorama effect and just put it on your background so you're gonna get really nice um, color schemes pretty instantaneously and so as this is all changing uh, the backgrounds changing and it starts to look really really cool and uh, on this example I spent just a couple minutes putting it together but as you can see it's totally the right effect and you can use this for your own animations or really cool uh, transitions so anyway this was Matt from Mount MoGraph I hope you would enjoyed the five minute morph effect and I hope you guys have fun with it yourself so anyway happy Monday and I'll talk to you guys later peace out